Okay, so we're back at it. We have the side channels off, uh, both, both sides here. I have also uh, removed one of the plugs, basically a uh, three quarter inch wrench. Here, remove the plugs. The plugs are screwed off. The plug wires are screwed off the end of the plugs. Then, uh, this is what the plug looks like. I've removed this plug here and use a special plug wrench for these aircraft plugs which are obviously if you've ever seen a car plug these are definitely very different here's the plug gap tool uh, these plugs are actually not too bad a shape they're a little they've been in there about 300 hours but they've also been in there 25 years so uh, it's been kind of a long journey for them um, there was a, just a little bit of soot in there this is a gap tool Plugs need to be between 16 and 22, 0.016 to 0 0.022 inches. So you can see here that uh, I am able to get this particular wire in here. There was a little bit of gunk in there, so it was also nice to clean it out. Uh, they're actually not very worn. They're actually just right at about 16. So they don't have many hours on them, but they are sooted uh, pretty bad. So the next thing I did when I pulled the plug is I got my handy bore scope out here. Amazon about $70 great deal uh, This is a particularly small one. Uh, this one actually can look forward and sideways has lights on it both ways So what we're gonna do is go ahead and put it in the cylinder bore here And you can kind of take a look you can see what I'm looking at here um, And I can go ahead and put a copy of this on the internet But uh, you can see the top of the the pistons have quite a bit of corrosion on them uh, the worst part, of course, is the cylinder walls. If you look at the cylinder walls here, you can kind of see that. If I can get over on the side, you can see a crosshatch pattern, which is good. That's what we want to see. It said these cylinders only have about 300 hours on them, but they're about 24 years old. And if I go, I'm going to switch my view here. I'm now on a side view. So you can see them at the top now. You can see a valve in the top left corner of the screen. You can see the bottom of the cylinder head. You can see there's where the piston ring comes up to the top of the cylinder this this ridge right here and then as we go down a little bit you see there's a little bit of pitting uh, we can see the discoloration there you can see we've got some scoring also going on and the discoloration on the sides with some of the rust and corrosion so uh, we're not going to get a great cylinder uh, compression on this one we'll have to see we're going to do our test when we start it up here in just a moment you can see there's the other spark plug uh, from there's two spark plugs in the head I removed one there's the other one actually looks like we have a little problem up there which I didn't see until just now you can see there's an extra little bit of material up there it shouldn't be up there by that plug so that plug is going to need to go ahead and be uh, removed and replaced as well okay so that's uh, a little bit on the cylinders that process I'm actually replacing all the plugs uh, the top plugs are a little harder to replace because you can see I have to remove all the shielding I have to remove this top cover and I'm not likely going to be able to do that here today but I'll definitely do that before we try to fly it uh, the other thing is since the fuel in here is about 10 years old I had to remove the fuel uh, unfortunately on this plane um, there is a if I go over here uh, you can see that there on the bottom of the plane uh, there's a spigot if it was this style uh, then I could put it up, lock it, and the fuel comes out. But of course it isn't on the older Moonies. It's this pin. So you have to actually hold the pin up there and let the fuel come out into this little strainer. And you have to do it one little cup at a time. Kind of takes a little bit of a while. Actually, I think my wife just said I've been here three hours. And I did the right tank. And so I filled uh, basically about four of these. So I took about four gallons of 10-year-old fuel out. Uh, and uh, so the, left, the right wing is done. Uh, there's also a... a uh, gas collator up underneath here so the two wings drain to that and then that's what goes into the engine so I've gone ahead and cleaned the fuel out of it as well so once we put five gallons in the right hand tank um, and I'll just turn it on to the right hand tank we should have clean fuel uh, going to the engine so that's what we've accomplished so far here in our first three hours and I'll see you later we'll hopefully start it right up